y'all, hey welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been with me for a long time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Today, I have a really cool video that we're going to do, and I hope you guys like it a lot. It's actually going to be part one of a two-part series that we're going to do, and we're going to talk about all the paranormal stuff surrounding the whole Chris Watts, Shanann Watts case and everything that's gone on. And so at first we're going to be examining some of the police body cam footage with all the paranormal stuff that went on there because there were a lot of EVPs that kept, were captured on that. And I'll tell you a secret, the police body cam footage, I went through it myself because this is what I do is paranormal and finding voices and I have the equipment and the technology to do it and I found some extra EVPs that I don't think at least I haven't heard anyone else find on the footage so that's going to be in this video and then the part the second part to this video that we're going to do is we're going to do a spirit box and try and talk to Shanann and see what she has to say yeah if you are new here we're going to be using tonight a PSV7 spirit box show you that right there to talk to her and I have a great relationship with my guides their names are Ethan and E and we will see if they can get if we can get them to go get Shanann to talk to us now according to Shanann's mother she actually has gone over and visited her mother along with the kids since she's passed away so her mom has seen Shanann and the kids quite frequently I believe and uh, we're gonna see if we can get them to talk to us too. But first, before we do that, I wanna get into the police body cam footage because a lot of people have found a lot of EVPs in it and there's even some possible captures of the girls in those videos. So it seems pretty cool. But what I'm gonna start off by showing you is the part that I think is the most credible as far as catching a spirit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that video right here. You guys, while you're watching this video, watch the stairs that, and this again is police body cam footage. So this isn't my footage, this isn't anything altered, this is direct from the police body cams. But watch on the stairs, it looks like a little girl, and it could have been Bella or Cece, we don't know, but it looks like a little girl is actually running down the stairs. So go ahead, watch that little clip for a second. Okay, now that you guys have seen that, wasn't that crazy? I think that's some of the best paranormal evidence that the police body cameras have caught outside of the EVPs. Now there is some more, but I'm not going to include that all here because the rest of it was kind of sketchy. I did look at everything that everyone said out there about it and I just, I really didn't see a lot of merit to it, but that could just be me. I want, when I do things, I want strong EVPs and I want uh, strong paranormal footage. So I really liked that clip and I hope you guys did too. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to play the EVPs off of the police body cam footage that I actually found. Now, a lot of these you probably have heard, but I'm thinking there's going to be a couple that you haven't. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go ahead and listen to all those cool EVPs. And I'm going to put up on the screen what I heard it say and you guys can let me know if you hear anything else. So if you do hear something that I missed, make sure to leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys are hearing. So there's one who'd be in the... Yeah. And has any of it been touched by you today? Uh, put it in there. You put it in there? Yeah. How about... Uh, Um, beds? Have you touched their beds today? I made them. You made them. Okay. Uh, do you usually like pick up the pillow, that kind of stuff, or do mm -hmm. you just like... Okay. Uh, let me think here. Um, I'm not sure that you see it. Yeah. Is there anything that... I think there's nothing I could have ever touched at all. Oh, actually, shoes would be good, too. Shoes that maybe you haven't touched. Since they born. Mm. Is there a clean? Yeah, I 
have been clean, but sometimes the blankies get put in there. Okay. And, but that's the one she usually uses, the butterfly one. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's you just touched it today? Yesterday when I put it on the bed. Okay. Uh, shoes? Shoes are downstairs. Okay. They probably your white shoes. This is CC shoes and bell shoes on this side. Okay. What's the most recent pair you've ever heard? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What in the world is that? Wow. Go in there and step on that little blue thing and see if that's where that noise came from. Yeah, it sounded like a kid <laughs> toy. <laughs> it might. It sort of sounded like it. Something. There was a. I heard it. It did. So there should be in that basket some of the kids, the kids' clothes and their nightgowns okay. that they may or may not have had on that night. Not me. Just like, <laughs> yeah, well you may have been, you may have carried something or. It's possible. Your attic access right there. Do I need to climb up there? Here's a pair of her shorts. I don't know. I just love that video. There were so many voices and so clear and and this is all police body cam footage. This isn't like someone just took their camera out and recorded some random stuff and we don't know if they messed with it or not. Uh, yeah, so I was really impressed by all that. I will tell you, those police body cam footage, that was from the day when they were first looking for Shanann and the two girls, Bella and Cece. So that's the daytime body footage. Remember how at the beginning of this video I said that this was going to be a two-part video? Well, a, a, you know, part one and part two of a series. Part two is 
I'm going to, and I already actually have, so I can tell you this for sure. I have found a lot of EVPs on another police body cam footage of them going to the Watts house. And this time, they didn't go over there. They weren't searching for the girls. This was after they had found the girls and the mom. And supposedly, the neighbor saw, and I think some reports I, I saw and heard said that it was even caught on his home camera. Um, but that he saw someone going in, a woman, into Shanann's house at night, and then he saw the garage lights turn on. So, of course, this house was vacant at the time, and the police show up, and of course they're wearing their body cameras, and there's just so many EVPs. It's just amazing, and they're really clear. Um, so I'm going to be putting that in the next video that I'll record after this for you guys, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that when that one comes out. I can't wait for you guys to hear that one. But for the rest of the video today, let's go ahead and get into the spirit box. Now I mentioned earlier that Ethan and E are my guides. Some people refer to them as guardian angels. I just call them my guides. I'm not quite sure why I chose guides, but um, that's what I call them. So you can think of them as guardian angels. And you'll hear their voices at first and me talking to them because Ethan is kind of the jokester, but he's very helpful. He goes out and he gets spirits for me to talk to. And when we think of that, we think of that in like our time. It's not our time. It's in their time. So they could just be visiting what I think is an hour and what really is only maybe a second or so in their time. So he goes and he gets them and they come and they talk to us. And E, uh, she's my other guide. She makes sure that all the other spirits kind of be quiet and so we can just talk to specific people. She helps out a lot. So let's go ahead and jump into that again using the PSB7 spirit box that I told you about. And let's get started. Oh, one more thing before we do that though. If you are wearing headphones, now is the time to take them off and adjust your volume a little bit because the spirit box sessions, they get really, really loud. So make sure you do that because it's about ready to get loud in here. <laughs> Really in 
Sandy. <laughs> What did you guys think? Did you hear a lot of the cool stuff? I thought that was an amazing spirit box session. I loved all the EVPs that were at Shanann's house. And don't forget, I have a second video coming out for all of you about the EVPs that went on that night on the police um, body camera footage. Boy, I can't say that word. Anyway, so make sure you subscribe and like this video, share it with your friends, and soon, I would say a couple days after this one's released, you're going to have the next video. So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's having a wonderful November. I hope that 2020 is not hitting everyone so hard. I hope you guys are doing good, and I will be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.